Well, there's a stereotype that artists can be eccentric, right? So what do you think it would be like growing up in a family of creative minds in the 60s and 70s in New York City? That's a whole gamut of eccentric right there. I wonder. Our next guest was the youngest of three boys and his father was a novelist and a playwright. Kip Friedman shares many stories about his dad and family in his memoir titled Barracuda in the Attic. Kip lives in the Milwaukee area with his wife, Anne. Good morning to you, Kip. Thanks Good for morning. being here. Good morning, ladies. Yeah, and your son is freezing right now in Minnesota as well. We've kind of got this big Arctic blast for all of us right now. And hopefully eating soup, too. Yes, yeah. <laughs> maybe they didn't run out of all the soup stuff there in Minnesota. Homemade you soup. never know. So let's talk a little bit about this new book. It's Barracuda in the Attic. First of all, I got to know where where did the title come yeah, from? Yeah, what's the well, title Well, since about? some people think it's a metaphor for something deep and meaningful in our family life, but uh, the real story is my father caught a barracuda while on assignment for the Saturday Evening Post back in 1968. And uh, the barracuda, he caught a barracuda and he brought it home. Uh, the story wasn't about the barracuda that for the Saturday <laughs> Evening Post. He was interviewing Adam Clayton Powell, who was a New York congressman, but we just remember this barracuda coming back in the box. <laughs> and I was seven, and it was bigger than me. And it had these sharp incisors and uh, button-like black eyes. It was really scary. Yeah. And he put it up in his attic. And um, I used that as sort of a vehicle to recall what it was like growing up. That was his studio, his office, where he mm -hmm. did a lot of his writing. So I wanted to piece it back together again. I used that as a nice vehicle. Uh, in the story, I make mention to, uh, it wasn't, Hemingway's 400-pound uh, marlin in, in uh, Old Man in the Sea, but it was a respectable-sized barracuda. Right, <laughs> and, and scary at that. And scary, so <laughs> I just uh, remember touching its teeth, and uh, it brought me back to his studio, and I wrote a story about it called Barracuda in the Attic, which is was chosen as the title of the book. So what is that. the book about in general? Would you describe the book to us? That's a good question. Um, it's a lot of stories about my family, about growing up in New York City. You, you said, uh, well... I've been told I've, I had kind of a uh, different kind of childhood. There's a picture of my, f that was actually in the Saturday Evening Post, that photograph, I believe. Which one's you I'm there? I'm the youngest, looking okay. like a little monkey in my dad's <laughs> arms. My oldest oh. brother, Josh, looking like the Beatles. Uh, uh, yeah, I was going to say. You actually, the whole the picture haircuts. looks kind of like rubber sole. That's 1966, <laughs> I think. And Drew, middle brother, in the right, he's a famous artist and illustrator. Uh, the story is kind of, the book is participatory. It's, it's my childhood memories of growing up in New York City, some of the adventures we went on, um, both out in Hollywood and uh, just being in the art scene in New York. All my family are artists. Um, so I wanted to recall all these family stories and some of the adventures we went on. I think I did a pretty good job. All these stories are, are in your book. They are to some extent, and I like to talk about them more. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not really a story about celebrities and uh -huh. Hollywood. It's also about my family. I wanted to retell some of the um, important things in my life. My brothers and I used to go on youthful quests to see horror movies on 42nd Street, all stemming from seeing Night of the Living Dead when I was seven in 1968. Well, uh, I, 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 we're out of time. I would love to sit yeah. and talk about more because I just I feel all these wonderful stories in you. So we're gonna have to have you back sometime, Kip. But I want to make sure everybody knows how they can get your book. Here's where you can get it. It's at Boswell Book Company, right on Downer. Also, you can get it on Amazon. If it's too cold to go out today, go to our website, mm -hmm. themorningblend.com. We've got the full link on Amazon as well, so you can order it right to your doorstep. Not even set foot outside if you don't need to. But otherwise, Boswell Book Company is the place to buy it locally. Thanks so much for being Thanks, here and sharing Thank some of those fun much. stories. Barracuda in the attic. <laughs>